Hello traders, FS Bear Collector here. Today is Tuesday, June 4th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full tile down analysis. So on the pound dollar, I still think this is very likely a one or two, and I still think we're either in a wave three of a running flat wave C or an expanding flat wave C. Running flat is likely to go to 138 or the 123. A expanding flat is likely to go to the one. 178 or the 161.8 Fibonacci extension. I think at this point it's not really that important to know the difference because either way it is going to lead to a pretty big uptrend, especially on the sort of time frames. Heading down to the weekly time frame, I still think this is the end of a question, which would make this five ways up right here. One, I think this is a big WXY, most likely a wave two, and I think this is very likely in a wave three, and I think it's very likely to continue to make those higher highs and higher lows on these much higher time frames. So heading down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, definitely looks like it is trying to turn down, and I could possibly make a full complete five wave pattern out of this. I mean, you could say that this is a one, two, maybe this is the three, maybe this is the four, and this is the five. If that is the case, then I would say this is a one of the uptrend that I was showing on the higher time frames, and that we would actually likely go down and make a wave two, and then eventually go back up and make a wave three. All subdivisions of the bigger wave three, I was explaining on the higher time frames. So taking it down to the 4 hour time frame. 4 hour time frame is where I got my Fibonacci retracement out here, but at this point, like I said, I think it is pretty likely, especially with how impulsive it is, that it is going to go down. And if it is going to go down, it breaks start, so it's actually pretty likely the end of a wave 5 and the beginning of a big A, B, and C correction, which would most likely be an ABC of wave 2. But we don't really have much proof of that yet, which is why we definitely need to pay attention to these Fibonacci levels. So taking it down to the one hour time frame, like I was just explaining, if this really is a wave five up here, then this is definitely going to continue to downtrend. Now this is 100% not an ABC, that is definitely, definitely the shape of a one, two, three. Still no evidence that the one, two, three is even over, and if it is a wave five up here, then it's actually likely to keep on making those lower lows, lower highs, and going down and making a wave A, probably a wave A of wave two, based on the much higher time frames. Now like I said, you really do have to pay attention in the fib levels because there's always a chance that this does make you know a one two three four five of a you know over the next 24 hours makes a wave b and then makes another push down for a wave c to a fibonacci level so if it does something like this and that is definitely an opportunity to go long again for the continuation of the uptrend so i think as long as you pay attention to price pay attention to structure you should better tell the difference between whether it's going down and making a wave a of two or whether it's just making another traditional abc crutch into the big uptrend on the much higher time frames so don't forget to join my free Discord channel, which is linked down here in the corner. And don't forget to check out my website if you'd like to get access to my swing trade setups and my daily live trading sessions. As always, thank you and happy trading.